The more that you review a situation in your mind, you are more likely to develop an obsessive habit because you are consistently firing and wiring the same neurons that were developed every single moment you've taken action according to a limiting belief or you've taken action like venting to someone according to that experience that was undesirable, that created these uncomfortable emotions in the first place. So how to tell if you have obsessive overthinking or OCD rumination? The difference between obsessive overthinking and OCD rumination is that obsessive overthinking has to reflect within the outcome that you are seeking when you are mentally rehearsing the same scenario and so people who are obsessively overthinking typically want a solution they want to come to a conclusion or validate their own inner experience when it comes to OCD rumination those people do not have control over the anxiety and the fear that comes with overthinking it feels like it's out of your control in an attempt to seek relief from the this doubt or fear that's arising within your body that is likely obsessive rumination. One of the best ways to overcome or break the habit of OCD rumination is to retrain your focus like if it were a muscle. The same way that you're going to go to the gym and carry weights and exercise it's the same way that you're going to practice consistency in literally retraining your focus onto what you would rather experience and simply even the present moment like labeling five things that you are seeing four things that you can touch three things that you can hear two things that you can taste and one thing that you can smell when you sit in the uncertainty and you practice mindfulness and you set an intention you are already deactivating the emotional center that is the amygdala that is creating emotional memories based off the Impression that it gets from you know an experience so when you have high intense emotions it is likelier to leave an impression in your subconscious mind and more likelier to create long-term memories when you are intentionally taking your power back it's by intending to retrain your focus not to distract or neglect or reject or dismiss or judge yourself because then you would be engaging with that neural pathway but rather just to become more present and to literally calm your nervous system by simply labeling your emotions Realize that your attempt to solve the issue is actually creating more distance between you and the emotion that simply just wants to be held and acknowledged. Mindfulness requires you to become an observer in order to reach a healthier state of detachment. Your thoughts are not your enemy, but both your thoughts and your emotions simply need you to literally sit with them in order to break the cycle. Then you will stop reacting from that emotion.